everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Nezzy's Place podcast. I'm your host, Finesse Davis, and yes, I am here running a little bit behind, but I promise to be here and I am going to do just what I said I'm going to do. Well, welcome to all my returning guests and to my new listeners. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This show focuses on real issues and real topics, talking about the truth and transparency, all about motivation, encouragement, and inspiration. So please, if you know someone that needs a little positive push, please share the link. Well, we're going to jump in for the last few weeks. We've been talking about getting our lives back. Yes, we have. And we talked about segments like let it go, always show up, diffusing the stress. And uh, we are going to wrap this up tonight with the final segment of the Get Your Life Back series with Live Again. It is time to live again. Don't you say it? Come on, say it with me. It's time to live again. Yes, it is. You know, we all have heard the cliche, life isn't fair. And you're right. Sometimes life is just not fair. But it's certainly worth being alive. I tell you that. And um, life could knock us down by four unforeseen situations that arise. But you know what? When we're knocked down, we got to be able to get up, start over, start again, pick up the pieces and build. So whatever you have to do, I want you to listen to this show. And as we're going along, I want you to say to yourself, it is time to live again. It's time to live again. Yes, it is. Just thinking about this topic, you know, and this title just got me a little bit emotional. Yes, it did. Because as I reflect upon my own life and I face many adversities, you know, adversities that could really make me become unraveled. But as Maya Angelou said so eloquently, she said, yet I rise. Signifying when I rise, I feel empowered to face my biggest fear, my biggest challenge, any obstacle that comes my way, I'm going to face it to get to the prize, which is overcoming that thing, no matter what it is. And no matter what I'm going through, my attitude will be the driving force to help me see through the fog to gain a clearer perspective on the matter. And that is just the way I approach things that happen in my life. So I want to give you a little encouragement today because I know that there are numerous women and men being challenged daily. And the struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. Because some people don't rise as easily as others. And sometimes they need a push. They need someone to step in. You know, someone to see that they are having a problem or struggling or feeling a little bit depressed. And you guys know depression is real. It's not a figment of our imagination. It's a real, the real deal. And when we see our sisters and our brothers showing any symptoms of depression, that's when we need to take a moment, forget about our own selves and the need and look at the needs of others because they need us. People need us. We need to reach out and see what someone else is going through. And periodically, some incidents can cause more devastation than others, making it extremely difficult to see beyond what some are facing and experiencing at that particular moment. So everyone is different, but pay attention to those around you. Pay attention to yourself, you know, whatever you're going through. And time and time again, you know, when I speak to different people, when I come in contact with different people and I, I see and I hear the, the sadness you know, that they're going through something. I can hear hear the pain inside, but yet they're smiling on the outside. And I know we have seen many people who smile and act like everything is okay, but on the inside, when everyone goes home or when they go to their house, they're just really sad and not being able to deal with what's going on in their lives. And sometimes I just want to shake them because I want to say, you know, I know you're hurting. I know you're hurting. You know, and it's whatever this is, a past situation, a present situation, the hurt is real, but you know, it can't last forever. 
this too shall pass. And we hear people say that, but it is certainly the truth. This too shall pass. And it's time that we have to start living again, people. It is so crucial that we learn how to live again. And it's time to forgive. Time to let go of that bitterness and that unforgiveness. Time to forgive yourself. And that's vital because if you don't, if you don't forgive yourself, you will live in this blame and guilt bubble and um, you'll have it built up in your heart and you'll just blame yourself for everything. But you have to forgive yourself and forgive others. And a proud person will never forgive because they see no need. You know, I don't need to forgive them. You know, they did that to me or whatever, whatever. But a humble person will forgive because they know that they operate with a pure heart. So keep that in mind. Forgiveness is not for them, it's for you. If you want to truly live again, you must, must forgive. And it's time to mend those broken family relationships. Family is not an important thing. It's everything. This life right here is important though. And those we love, we need to wrap our arms around them, tell them we love them, you know, surround them with so much love and patience and understanding. Don't let anger and distance build up between fan, your family member. It's time to live again and have healthy connections with our family. You know, there's so many things that we go through. I mean, there are bad relationships. Many go through ups and downs and relationships. I mean, come on, who hasn't? Personally, after two marriages gone bad, due to sexual preferences and infidelity, I really could have folded. I could have called it a day, said, fall, I'll fall out and just, I'm done. I'm so done. But let me interject right here. I think marriage is the most beautiful relationship God designed. The most beautiful connection between two people that he designed. It's beautiful. But selfishness and self-gratification can ruin the perfect marriage. Come on, let's talk about it. But I'm human, okay? I'm human. And yes, it did hurt when I went through all that. But it didn't break me because I know who I am. I'm grounded and I had to pray and make sure I was ready to live again. And these little paragraphs that happened in my life, I'm going to call them paragraphs because I'm not going to call them chapters because chapters are significant. But those paragraphs that happened in my life, they could have destroyed me, could have made me turn cold and bitter towards loving or welcome any other relationship in my life. But nope, not me. I know that one day God will bless me to love again. So I encourage you, if this is what you're going through right now, if this is your story, I want you to know that it's going to be okay. You are going to make it. So get it together. Stop stressing out. Pick up your head and hold it high because you are alive. You have much to accomplish. And it is time to live again. I need some music right there to, when I say that. <laughs> and for someone listening, maybe maybe you lost a loved one. And this is very traumatic for people. And if, if we haven't been down that road or you or I haven't been down that road, it's really hard for, under, for us to understand how someone is feeling when they have lost a, a loved one, someone of significance, you know, especially if, after a person has been joined at the hip for so long as they can remember. You have to remember that there's no time frame on grieving. Everyone is different. But if this is you today, I want you to know that you must live and tackle each day as a new day, a new dawn, a new beginning. You are given a precious gift to breathe, crying is healing and refreshing for our souls. It cleanses us emotionally. So if you have to cry, you cry because it is cleansing your soul. But if you find that you ha are having a difficult time, get some help because sometimes you just may need that little, that little push to get to the next, the next phase. 
And I want you to celebrate the life you had together. Start creating ways to honor their lives. Celebrate and cherish the beautiful and heartfelt memories that you had. That's what keeps them alive in your heart. That's what makes you smile. Knowing that you had a chance to experience life with someone beautiful. Everyone, like I said, has their own way of grieving. So no one can tell you when it's time to stop grieving. But like I said, if life is too difficult and you can't make it, you can't get up, you can't hold your head up, and you feel like a weight is on your shoulders, I want you to seek out help. That is so, so important because I want you to live again. I want you to be able to breathe and see this beautiful life that lies ahead for you. So please, please, it's time to live again. Maybe sickness has attacked your body. And if you are a believer, pray and ask the Lord to heal you because his word is true, people. Tackle each day and walk in your healing. Do not give up. Don't fall, but be strong in his might. You are not done and you have a life to live. So continue fighting through this journey. The truth is we all are faced with different challenges. And those that I just mentioned are just a few. And if we continue living, we are going to be faced with many situations that could shake us or break us. However, it's those times when we want to break, that's when we are able to see our strength and realize that we have a greater purpose. Because what I believe, that our experiences are not just for us. It's for the greater good of someone else. So the next time you are being tested, just look at it as being stretched to help you. Because as you learn how to go through what you're going through, and how you learn to live again through your tests, you can help another person dealing with the same thing, going down the same road, climbing that same mountain that you are facing. You'll be able to help them. So I know this, one little quote, but then I remember what day it is. It is today, not yesterday. And so that's why I have to struggle to make sure I live life to the best that I can so I can live again. I want to live again. You have to start to live again. Well, guys, that's our show. That's our show. I know it was quick, but that's our show. That's all I have for you today. I hope you felt inspired. Hope you felt motivated to live again. Make sure you shoot over to the Nezzy's Place website to watch previous episodes and to order your copy of Girlfriend, Your House is a Mess. And there you can connect with me on all social media platforms. I would also love to have you as a guest on the show, please. So, Please connect with me if you can. Give me a call, 585-210-8186. Remember that this link will be accessible after the air date. So please continue to share the link. And like I always say, people, it's your house, your life, and your room. So remember, this day will never happen again. And each day we make a decision. Will this break me? Or will I rise up and live again? You answer the question. Will you? Okay, guys. Until next week. I am out.